Hello everybody, it's Cepheus here, giving you another Starbow match between... Oh, um... <laughs> between... Oh no, I, I can't do this, I can't say this right, but whatever, that guy's name, and Gossen. Um And Gossen is going to play Terran for this map, match, this map, this match, both while uh, Hyanna is in the Serb pieces. Um, so, I'm excited about this match. I heard it's very, very interesting. And, uh, yeah, let's see where this goes. We're going to play a game of Starbo. I might have mentioned that already. Starbo is a StarCraft 2 mod uh, that has changed StarCraft 2 slightly. Uh, it looks and feels a little bit more... Well, it doesn't look much more, but it feels a lot more like Brood War. I've also tried to learn some great panning tricks so it doesn't look like Jadong's first person you when I am uh, when you look at my um bonds. So hopefully that will be better. We see Gossen here very interestingly going for a quick refinery. Uh before um barracks. So he's up to some mech play it seems, at least putting on a little bit of aggression and not uh trying to be economic in the early stages whatsoever. On the other hand, Hyanna is going for a pull first, which is also weird against Terran. The, I guess you could say the standard uh, is is 12 hatch, 12 pull. But there is really no standard in Starbo since the mod is so new and all the uh, players are trying to figure out different strategies. I feel it's kind of like playing the StarCraft 2 beta all over again, just trying to figure out what can work and... What won't? Oh, <laughs> goes to timing by Gossen there, um, blocking that uh, drone scout. But it, he might lose an SCV though if he's not careful. Yeah, get away from the SCV. Oh, Yan Hyono is relentless in his drone harass um, and might just nab an SCV. No, Gossen, get out of there. Click a mineral, Gossen. Oh, no. Uh, well, he got glitch stuck, and there we go. One predator, one kill drone for Hyono first blood. Look at that wonderful bar. All orange. Okay, well that's probably going to change very soon. First um, Marine out, and he successfully denied the gas scout, which has not been used for anything yet. He's There we go, finally a factory. That could have been thrown down a little bit earlier, I think. Oh, hmm, should have turned off the scroll, perhaps. Um, but yeah, the tech lab switcheroo is what's going to be coming up, so probably some virtual harass, I can't imagine. On the other hand, Hyono, Hyono, I'm, I can't say this right. The Korean name, he's not Korean though. He just, he just tries to be. I don't know. <laughs> uh, going, finally getting that hatch up and going for a quick third. I really like that quick third in base versus Terran. Um, I've been playing a lot of the, of Zerg versus Terran lately, and you get uh, the queens here are not so. But the queens are good, but they're not as good as they were in StarCraft 2, so you easily um, have troubles with your macro unless you get that third hatch really quickly. And once you get that third base going, you want to get an extra fifth hatch as well. You have five hatches on three bases seems to be optimal in Starbo, which was very similar to StarCraft 2. Of course, if you have all queens and all hatches and you have perfect injects, then you might get away with four, but um, we're not that good as Starbo's players. Well, maybe. Maybe some of them are, but I'm not. Well, this is exciting. We're getting the Ion Thrusters. How about that for the vultures? So they're going to be quick and they're going to be <laughs> few <laughs> because there is no second factor with the reactor, but that's okay. Just putting on some uh, little bit of pressure. That upgrade was cancelled. How about that? Okay. I'm not sure what Gosn's up to here, but he's up to something. I don't know if it's a mistake or if he just changed his mind, but that upgrade was definitely cancelled if my eyes do not deceive me. Chasing away these scouting zerglings, there's quite a bit of them. This this vulture is going to have a whole lot of fun, and we're going to follow this vulture all the way across destination. Yeah, we're playing on destination. I almost never say anything about the map, so let me change that. Um, we're playing on destination, which is... Um, Great map. I really enjoy Destination. Um, some of the greatest Starbo games come from Destination. You have the larger bridges than you did in Brood War style, uh, so they're quite difficult to wall off and defend. And then you have this high ground area here, which is great for air harass, and then you have this 
back path, which is horrible because if you get uh, siege tanks planted right here, you're gonna have a hard time. Especially if these mineral patches are not mined out. And if they are mined out, well, your opponent's gonna get. Well, Terran can just drive Vulture straight into your main. Or on the other hand, Sir can get Zerglings running right by. You see Gossen finally expanding, uh, not making it an orbital before he lands it, which is okay in Starbo because orbitals are not so pivotable. They only call down SCVs and not mules, so they're not OP. Um, <laughs> how about that? Well, uh, it's just circling still for Hyun Na. He's been seeing, well, yeah, Evolution Chamber. Yeah, there it is. We have a Hydralisk, and he has the potential to make a ton of Hydralisks if he has to, if he sees a lot of Vultures incoming, because Zerglings do virtually nothing against Vultures when you reach a critical amount of Vultures, especially if you're good with mine placements as well. Now, this is interesting. We see a dropship coming from Gossen. He's going to do a little bit of drop harass. Yeah, I like that. Putting on some pressure on the Zerg player. That's pretty much the way it is. In, in Starbo, if you let the Zerg player just... Um, just let him do whatever he wants while he turtle, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> you're going to lose. You gotta put on some pressure. So we got Banshees, we got Dropships, we got everything to delay the circle. He's already spotted this. Video. Putting up a score caller, two Queens defending. There's, yeah, this Banshee has three kills, but I don't think any one of those were workers. I think those were stray circlings that I missed. Sorry about that. Getting uh, trying to scout, but is denied by these Zerglings. Hiona has an, a surprisingly small army for uh, for the t in game time, but Gosn on the other hand has just been poking very um, just poking a little bit and uh, and has been just trying to secure his own expansion. So Hiona hasn't really uh, needed to uh, to get a large army either. You can see on the units here that yeah it. 8 Hydras, 11 Zerglings, and it's plenty for what Gossen has. If he tries to move out across the map, it's going to take him a long time. That's how Zerg, uh, Taran works, I mean. Uh, and Yana has has what he needed to defend. Defense. To be defensive. Yes. To defend well. Oh, here we go. More Banshee harass, but no. It's not going to do anything. Well, he's being cute, though. At the same time, he's trying to drop uh, a tank and a vulture the other side and I can only suppose that this tank in Vulture is for this wonderful harassment area over here. My mouse is going all over the place, sorry about that. So yeah, I'm excited to see what this might do and the Banshee might have some um, something in store as well. Well these overlords are going to see it, yeah, smartly plant some mines over here to deny the flank route and here we go. See how many workers can get killed, well at least two before Hiana responds, three and there we have it, four workers, nice. Uh, and yeah, now it loses a lot of mining time, of course you can transfer the workers over here, oh that's perfect timing. <laughs> For this newly finished, newly finished hatchery, I'm going to use like half a minute on every word today to make sure you understand what I say. Now does he have an overseer? Yes he does, so he's not, shouldn't take any damage from this much, and Gossen smartly uh, relocates not to use his, lose his um, Siege tank. Now, if he does not move his overseer, he might take some damage from this mine right here. Let's see. No. Wound around, and yeah, this is gonna get denied pretty badly. You're not boxer, Gossin. You're not gonna get it up and down, up and down. Let's well, that was pretty. Okay. Sorry about that, Gossin. You are boxer. That was really. That was sweet. You said both the drop shape and the siege tank. Yes, you did. Those queens. Um, too slow off creep. Wow. I might have missed something there. There are several things going on, and I'm not that good at multitasking. That's why I'm casting and not playing at the moment. <laughs> so, there you have it. Well, Gossen supply blocked. How about that? Um, but he is keeping his money down, so that's nice. Trying to go for some harassment. That harassment. And is being effectively denied. Is that? Oh, that's the Banshee. I thought I was the dropship trying to make another run for it with one HP, and that would be a bad idea. Wait, oh, sorry about that. Where is that dropship? Uh, well, it's here somewhere. In the meantime, we have a very, very small contain by Gossen here. Uh, but trying to get a position, and we have a Lurker Hydra Zergling force. I've never seen Lurkers used effectively against mech just because they die to mines, but him, Hyana, might be able to do that. That would be very interesting to see. Wow, look at all that stuff producing. Oh, 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 don't drag it in there. <gasps> Ooh, that's the worst mine drag ever. Oh, that was so bad. 
Fortunately, he's on, he is on creep, and in Starbo, uh, Zergu needs to regenerate health on creep, so that's good. Okay, we'll see a nice little uh, work for harass here by Gossen. While wow, he's that's that's really smart, you know, um, setting up his um, contain over here uh, and and moving this Zerg army this way while he's harassing the other side. Classic, Re really nice. Uh, on the other hand, though. Hyuna is going for a little bit of harassment himself, it seems, working around this contain and, and trying to... Oh, he's gonna flank it. He's gonna surround the contain, but there's no contain to surround it, only mines and one siege tank and three workers. So, uh, this is going to be very cost-effective for Gossam, I think, even though he's effectively shutting this down, or not effectively shutting this down. Um, why did he scan that? Oh, well, contain is off, but it pretty much was off in the first place. He should have... Gossen should have more units at home. He wasn't reinforcing the contain much, it seemed. Well, they're both on quite a bit of money, though, so... Oh, sorry about that. Missed some more work for harass. Well, I guess Gossen's been good with his harassment, but not as good with his macro. But well, that's okay, because Yana is also quite high on money, so we'll see how this go works out. So more workers just darting around. Unfortunately for them, there is no base here to harass yet. Which is um, interesting. I When I play Serval Destination, I always take this as my third. Now, hopefully those <laughs> Starbo opponents might won't listen too closely to what I have to say, or else <laughs> they know always where to harass. Well, maybe I'm just playing mind games with you. We'll see. Um, there's something green here. It seems on the minimap, but I guess not. Anyhow, so, we have another small contain up by Gossen. Uh, he should get a third going. Yeah, there we go. Planetary. No, Orbital, actually. That's optimistic. Um, planetaries are so hard to break in Starbo because the armies are generally smaller, and especially as Zerg, when you just have many small units. Sorry about missing that. Man, I'm missing a lot of things today. But that's our hero from earlier. That's the very low HP um, uh, dropship with the very low HP siege tank uh, trying to do a little bit of harassment. And, ah, that was smart, getting the watchers that tried to find this base here as well. Now, let's see if he can break this contain. Uh, you need to borrow the lurkers. Come on. And there we go. And let's see how well lurkers do against mech. I'm um, skeptical, but I'm open to see that this might work, and I don't think it will. A couple siege tanks, but this is going to get shut down as long as he has enough scans. He pushed the line back, though, but he didn't break it. Uh, no. Get it close. It seems like this dropship is going to make another run for it. But only being on 15 hit points, his Serac sure has done a lot of damage. So that's really nice to see. These, yeah, these Hydras should clean up. Take the dropship. Yes, nice, nice. On the other hand, uh, that's not a good place to land an SCV. <laughs> that's very sad. It's just an empty uh, empty cargo holder landing down there. The SCV just died on impact. And yeah, one shot, two lurkers. How about that? Six kills each tank. Yeah, no. I would like to see some infestors coming. Those neural parasites are really good versus um, versus siege tanks. You can neural parasite in Starbo while the infestors are burrowed, uh, which makes it almost uh, mandatory to bring a science vessel with your late game mech composition, or else you're just gonna get neural. All your tanks are just gonna get neural parasited, and the hydras are gonna clean up the rest. Uh, which is a very effective strategy. It really breaks siege tanks quite easily, but it doesn't necessarily punish the Terran uh, economy. So there's a fine balance there. Now you should go away. Yeah, not you're not going to break this. Um, yeah. Well, a lot of engagements back and forth. Uh, still only mines being here. No more harass. It seems from Gossen at this time, and they're really close in supply as well. So so far a really close game. Gossen very slowly expanding and edging forward. Um, Na has been sitting on four bases for quite a while now. Should be perhaps opting to take a fifth. And yeah, there we go. We got some infestors. Where's that infestation pit? Well, he's getting plague. And he's getting plague. Why would he get plague versus mech? It does... Yeah, it doesn't say how much damage it deals. Does it say on the infester? I'm trying to remember how much damage plague is. 150 damage, which will... It almost kills the siege. Well, it doesn't kill anything because it's plague, but uh, it just breaks down to 1 HP, but... I guess that makes sense. It makes the siege tanks very soft and squishy, but you have to be able to cast it, and you cannot cast it while burrowed. It gets the vultures down to 1 HP if you get a good plague out. 
Well, perhaps we'll see when the plague is done if he goes for the neural. I would really like to see the neural parasite. I think that has more potential, and I'd also like to see the burrow upgrade. Oh, I think it's done. Yes, burrow is done. Yeah, great. I missed that. So that's good. When you get infestors, you need burrow. Actually, every surg unit, uh, except for the ban baneling, I think, can move underground while burrowed, uh, which is uh, something I would like to see more often, and I should use more often. Just imagine burrowing a whole zergling army and moving it under the tanks and then unborrowing them as you're attacking. I think that would be very effective. Uh, I might be wrong though. And I might be wrong about zerglings being able to move underground. I never tested it. I know hydrolysts can move while burrowed. Here we go. Nice push from Gossen. He's going to siege up this base. And let's see. This is a... Oh wow, look at that choke. You don't want to engage that. You want to split it up and, and at least get it to maybe three um, points... Uh, attack. I don't know the words anymore, but he's getting away with the reinforcements. Nice nerve jammer there. That's also going to stop the siege tank from attacking though, so that's too bad. Nerve jammer also works on friendly units now. I don't know if that's true in this patch from this game, but it's true for the news patch now. Yeah, nice. Call on SCVs for repairs. Gossen's doing everything right. Um, see over here. Oh, we got that. <laughs> he's being very sneaky with his infestors. Um... Meantime, uh, Gossen is looks to be taking down this base. It's really close. These uh, Zerglings and Lurkers should clean up these siege tanks, but I don't know if they are in time before the Lurkers can take down the hatchery, but he's not focusing the hatchery down. So, yes. Um, Yana is safe for now. These um, Infestors are just chilling out. He's trying to get maximum damage out of these uh, Vultures, but they're not going to do that much. Overall, though, a lot of Lurkers have been killed in this game. I'm really... I wonder what he's doing with these infestors. He really should use them to act... not to harass, because you can't spawn infested terrans. Well, you can plague your opponent's workers, but they don't really die. They just become very squishy. So, I don't really see the point of that either. But here we go. As you can see, the mines do not detonate on uh, on cloaked or burrowed units in Starbow, which I think is really nice, or else it's very hard to work around them. Well, finding some more drones there, getting a oh nice little defense up here, and oh Barrow Zergling trick here, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Let's see if Yana can break out of this position and uh, and be able to actually do some economic damage to Gossen. See, that's the that's the, the thing. Yana has been effectively holding uh, Gossen's pushes. He's lost a lot of workers, so like in in this engagement, but he's he's been holding it off. He's he's hanging on. He's been expanding slowly. But he has not touched Gossen whatsoever. He's only killed 12 workers, which is very little. Uh, and I think those SAVs have mostly been SAVs that are out on the map repairing and, and that kind of stuff and not done any real economic damage. And Gossen is very well defended on both of his bases with this OP planetary fortress right here. <laughs> and this very suicidal science vessel just hanging out in the middle of, uh, in between three of, of Yana's bases. You. You only live once, I guess. Well, like I said, Yana should be able to break this contain nicely with all that many uh, infestors with... Oh yeah, he's just waiting for Neural Parasite to finish. And uh, getting more lurkers. I don't know if I agree to that. I like the um, Hydra's versus Mech. Well, I don't particularly like them, but I think they are more effective. Hydra's work well against fortress, but not so well against tanks. So there we go, yes, Ultralisks, that's that's the stuff. That works against everything except air. <laughs> the only counter to Ultra is air, pretty much. I don't think there's any ground units that effectively counters Ultralisks. Because the Immortal is not in Starbow. Oh, that's so nice. I'm very happy the Immortal is gone. It makes for a lot more interesting gameplays. But we see a big drop here. At the same time, we see an attack here, but let's follow the drop for now. Uh, and at the same time, Gossen is pushing his, his, um, can, well, not contain, his line, his siege line, I guess you would call it. So here we go, uh, kind of a weird drop. He should unload his other as well. And there, finally, as used for that science whistle that's just been chilling out. So that was the plan all along. How about that? Now, uh, this task force is not being so very effective because it should be right here, and it's right here. On the other hand though, uh, we have a nice little harass by Gossen here, and this siege tank is going to get a lot of workers killed if he can just have some spare moment in not killing Hydras or Zerglings. These <laughs> infestors are also pretty dangerously close to those siege tanks, but yeah, this should be fine. Let's see if we can get some nice new parasite action here. Yeah, there we go. Almost unnecessary with the amount of units that we had coming. 
but that's okay. He needs to clean this up though. This siege tank has been yeah, 12 kills. And I think a lot of those are workers. 55 workers workers killed in total for Gossam. This is pretty good. And finally getting rid of that circling. <laughs> but <laughs> wow, he needs to relocate that command center. That's not very effective mining. And still still holding this um harassment here going. Uh Yana's having a really difficult time dealing with this. Even some Goliath, they're managing to pick up the Overseer, which is oh, nice, which is huge, because... Well, it's not that huge. Well, yeah, mines, yes, it is huge, because you need Overseers to detect the mines, or else you may lose all your Hydra lists at once. It's one Hydra, can it take down two Vultures? Well, it's... Well, they're both about the same upgrades, yes, it can. The Vulture was preoccupied killing some drone stuff. But it seems so, that's interesting, especially when they're upgraded. Oh, nice, saving himself. From that mine, and we see the dropship and the science vessel just hanging out in the back here. That science vessel is never gonna go home. He just he's in love with that Zerg base. Wow! <laughs> I always get a smile on my face when those defenders are so close. Oh, and there we go. Tons of neurals, uh, two siege tanks, uh, a vulture, and a Goliath. And yeah, your army just turned against you, Gossen. This is not not fun being a mech army when your half your army just suddenly joins the enemy. It's like playing Risk with your friends, you know, not with your friend or ally. It's not much fun. Really that much. Well, it's a lot of fun, but it can be a bit stressful. So there we go. Even more Neural. This is only in Festers, though. One scan and some target firing should be very effective against... Yeah, there we go. Scan target fire. So you need a, you need a backup army with your Festers, or else you're going to lose them. But it's been pretty effective so far. That's been uh, whittling down uh, Gossam's... Um, forces here and now he's backing it up with some circling and lurkers so that's nice and even some ultra is coming in for the game as well in the meantime though a lot of workers has been pretty much just wow that's a lot of mines wow four mines one uh, one zergling that's pretty good but yeah this base is pretty much going to fall if uh, Galson target fires it and let's see I'm very excited about this 53 health hit left come on oh no 27 <laughs> Oh, you have to target fire, Gossen. That was... Uh, there we go, some transfuses as well. What is that, Queen? High ground transfuses, how about that? Awesome. That range is pretty long. It doesn't say that, but that range on transfuses is pretty nice. Epic transfuses there. It wasn't really necessary because Gossen wasn't target firing, but still good to have a hatcher with more than 30 hit points, or else it's e really easy just to snipe off in a later uh, run by. Yeah, you need another Overseer now, uh, Hiana, or else you're gonna get slaughtered by mines. Some more uh, Vultures sneaking in. Those These Vultures have proven proven themselves very effective and has effectively um, made sure that Gossen can take most of the map now and he's slowly, slowly expanding. Which is... Uh, I don't know if he's so slowly expanding because it's hard to do many things at one time, or his multitasking abilities, or if it's actually a part of his strategy because if you think about it, if you can deny Zerg economy as much as possible while slowly expanding, you're going to be set up for a very good late game. Where Zerg is a very low econ and you're going to be very high on, look at that, very high on minerals and gas. And look at his, man, Gossen makes like really good defensive positions. This is so hard to penetrate, this is almost impossible. Unless you use Neural Parasites, I'm almost going to call them OP now, because this is very effective. He's going to break this with Neurals. Pretty much it. Without neural parasite, there's no way you could have broken this. At least not this effectively. Nice nerve jammer though. I'm gonna shut down this lurker and some couple more units. I hate nerve jammers. They're so annoying to play versus. Well, I don't hate them. They're good for the game. They're they're a good mechanic, but uh, personally, I hate them <laughs> when I have to play versus them. But yeah, this is not gonna put Gossen that much behind, really, because of his great economy. He's, uh, oh wow, that's a lot of factories. I hope he utilizes them all. Now it seems he does. That's good. Has quite a bit of reinforcement um, potential. And this, yeah, if this planetary gets up, it's going to be very difficult to break. Ultralists are really good at breaking planetary fortresses, though. They're the definitely the best third unit for it, except bird lords, I guess. But that is self explanatory. This is uh, a great engagement for um, for Yana. He's gonna break this. Yes, like I said, ultras are good. Wow, you gotta focus. Oh, the SCVs are gonna repair it back up again. 
and this is not going to be as cost effective as it could have been. In the meantime, well, just a couple of roaches hanging out. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fion's base. Okay, back in the back to the action. Got some nice low ground siege tanks here, making sure this army is not going to get any further. But he's it's done its job. Took a lot of units, but it's effectively denied Goss in this expansion. He should keep just a Zergling borrowed here or something to make sure he doesn't retake it right away. But Goss is perfectly happy mining off of three bases, while Hyona is mining off of two. Now this has been no, uh, yeah, two. <laughs> These two bases are barely one added together. And I do math. How about that? But he um. He's securing, well not securing, he's trying to take this one. Hopefully he will be securing it. Um, if he's going to stay in this game. Oh, that was a lot of mines that just went off, wasn't it? And another one. There we go. Oh, I'm waiting for... No, he can't do an engineering lift off mine trick in Star Wars because the engineering engineering base do not lift off. Could do a barrack lift trick though. This is not good for Hydras unless you Nero. Go Nero Parasite. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well, that doesn't not going to help anything because they don't attack anyway. Oh, I think he... Oh, he neural the science vessel and just... Uh, and just threw out, threw out a, a stupid... Um, ah, what? Nerve damage. And... Can't talk right now. <laughs> it seems. Threw out a stupid nerve damage to spend his energy. That was really smart. Should have target fired, fired it a little bit with Hydra still, but it's hard to do that many things at once. That's a glitch, I think. Yeah. Well, a bug at least glitch would be a little too much. So yeah, Yana seems to be able to secure this. Um, Gossen is trying to attack an area with almost no minerals left, so that's not going to be very useful. And that's not... you don't have that many units, Yana. You should not just straight up engage the siege terror position, but I guess it works, it seems. These uh, infestors have really been paying for themselves. And they don't really need a kill since we don't have since fungal so fun yeah infestors cannot kill him so that can just be removed but no biggie. Um, of course they can kill in Starcraft 2 but not in Starbow. That infestor likes to live dangerously. Even using neural parasites on uh, on vultures, you know you have a lot of infestors when you can do that. But not anymore, these are all by themselves, and they're gonna get picked up one by one. If he just moves his science vessels just a tad, yeah, now they're gonna get picked up. This one might get out, yeah. But, oh, they both, no, they don't. <laughs> Never mind, they don't get out. Hyana is in a bit of a difficult position now, because the map looks very even, but if you look at the actual income, you see Gossen on, well, down to two mining bases, soon to be three. Yana uh, nicely burrowed all his drones here to avoid uh, more harassment, but he's gonna hold this base for now, but this is pretty much... Uh, well, he got two mining bases at the moment. Uh, two and 0 0.5 mining bases at the moment. Um, and Gossam also has uh, a greater um, supply and... Uh, well, he has a gas bank, not a mineral bank. He's been able to use his uh, minerals uh, quite well lately. Gonna lose this, yeah. Gonna lose that science vessel. What's the what's the army composition at the moment? Eleven siege tanks, twenty fire watchers, one Viking, which I've never seen at all. Uh, a ghost. A ghost. Where's that ghost? He has a ghost. There it is, hanging out. I don't know if that ever gets used in this game. Well, he has a ghost. Let's see what happens. What happens to that? And a nuke. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. And two science vessels. And he's up against uh, three ultralisks and so forth. You can read yourself. Uh, so he has a nice army composition, I would say. He has a very little anti-air. If Yana made a mutalisk or broodlor ish switch, he has the tech for it soon. Then that could be very interesting. Let's see what happens here. Well, it seems like Yana is going to give up this position. Gossip has been slow pushing this uh, this hatchery. Well, not easily, though he's giving it up. Oh, but he's losing a lot of units to these mines. This is. This can be very dangerous for Kiana. This might be his last stand. If he cannot defend this base, he's pretty much done for it. This is his last hope, this base right here. He has effectively done very little economic damage to Gossip. He has denied this base a couple of times, and that's about it. In the meantime, Gossip's watchers are. Uh, having a field day, cleaning up creep tumors. And oh, that's so nice. 
as they are sieging up in your face constantly I'm gonna use your own newly sieged up siege tanks against you. Uh, don't be too bold though, Yana, you only have limited burrow time in these siege tanks. Yeah, you don't need to. Um, neuro parasite those tanks anymore. They're too close to each other. Oh well, I'm not gonna tell people what to do when I'm watching the replay, that's a bit too late for that. So, it's finally stabilizing a little bit. This game has been back and forth and back and forth, but like I was saying, uh, even though it has been back and forth quite a lot, it seems like Gossen's been the one who's effectively been doing damage the whole time. Now, holding off Terran Zerg, I know all about how difficult that can be, um, losing to it all the time. So, it is a difficult position to be in. Uh, did I say Terran Zerg? I meant Terran Mech. Wow. This game has been long. I've been <laughs> casting for a while. Oh, 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 that's some good mines right there. I think the armor upgrades are pretty good though on, yeah, that really helps out too. It really helps on, on the mine damage. Now it's calling down SVs to repair. I really like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's short and cute, uh, but it's really good. Now this is interesting. This is Hyanna's mine. <laughs> he <laughs> narrowed parasited a vulture and then he laid out one of the spider mines. So he has a spider mine of his own. That's nice little touch to that. Spider mines laid by vultures who are neural parasite becomes his mines. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Um, so there we go. Finally, for the uh, third time, I think, trying to establish the space. I don't think he actually lost it last time. He just damaged it and managed to uh, to retrieve it. So things are stabilizing. Well, yeah, things are stabilizing. We are on very few mining bases. Ooh, got to pick up these infestors. That's huge. Yeah. Got one or two of them. Um, these are, yeah, trying to... Ooh, ow! <coughs> Yeah, that's the only words I could say right there. You do not want to attack that without clearing the mines off first. But here we go, trying to clear off the middle. Uh, Yana with a nice army, a nice flank. Uh, these... Oh, there's a nuke, there's a nuke. Where is the nuke? Oh, hang on, I gotta, I gotta find this nuke. I cannot miss this nuke. There it is! Let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't know this. I did not notice this the first time. Oh, can you get up? Oh, look. Ah, 97 workers killed. Not in, in that one instance, of course. Well, we can... Oh, sorry. No. Where did that ghost go? Oh, there he is. How many kills does he have? 11 workers killed. One nuke. That's really nice. That goes pretty much paid for itself. Yeah, this is going to be tough for Hyun now to get back from. He's losing so many nice mine places. He's losing units left and right. But he has broken the middle. He has broken the middle, but he cannot do economic damage. He can remain map control, he can try to wear the Terran down, but he cannot attack with that with the composition he has at the moment. Does he have a spire? He does not. He cannot because Broodlords would be nice to try and break uh, break Gossens, uh, like over here for example. Of course Gossen will start to make Vikings or Goliaths or both, but but that's, that's a little bit of a surprise. Of course, getting a ton of science vessels too would be nice. Now, I, <laughs> man, Gossen is using every unit uh, Terran has available for this in the matchup. I like this. Uh, getting some nice fungals off. No, not the fungals. Radiates off of this. Um <laughs> that's a StarCraft 2 uh, handicap there. Um, every time you say nice, you say fungal because the only thing that's nice in StarCraft 2 are the fungals. Oh, that's a nice fungal. But it wasn't a nice fungal, it was a nice ira ira irradiate. <laughs> irradiate? I can't even say it. What I think has been interesting, he's he used all that time in the beginning to research plague and he hasn't used it once. So that was pretty much just wasted. He could have maybe used plague. Well, this is nice. This is very plagueable. Because these are uh, squishy watchers. These are not as plagueable. These are more neural. But he doesn't have that much energy on. Well, some of these infestors do. But they're always underground, and then you don't think about Plague and Fungal, you just think about Neuralink, because that's the only option you have at the moment, with that split second. Oh, picking off more. Yeah, nice. Trying to, uh, trying to Neural these tanks, but he's also losing a couple infestors in the in the process. Is he going to clean this up one more time? And here comes the Battle Cruisers. I didn't even use the word last time for Battle Cruisers, but that's what I meant. And Battle Cruisers are a bad idea when your opponent has a lot of... Neural happy f infestors. <laughs> You're gonna need like marines versus that, and not battle creatures. Is he gonna be able to pick off none of them? Come on, he has 28 health left. 
But no. This is not a very good position to attack Battlecruisers from. Circling's doing what they can. Um, taking some damage for the team. Oh yeah, he's gonna get them both. No. Nice. Can he repair? Can he repair? Don't attack the SEVs, attack the Battlecruiser. Nope, he cannot uh, kill the Battlecruiser. And Gossen effectively repairs sometime soon, hopefully. But yeah, it seems like Gossen has finally been able to take control over this position and can't. Well, there's not much left here, though. Let's look at this map. Okay, still mining from here. Uh, not mining from here, not much left either. We could move these over here. That's about it. And yeah, there's a single 44 mineral patch here, but. This is going into the very late game. Now, I don't think Hyana... No, he cannot stop this base from going down. And... Even though the supplies for Gossen are twice that of Hyana, it's mostly because he has 64 SCVs over 35 drones. And that's not very useful supply at the moment. You don't need that many SCVs to, to saturate all your bases at the moment. And Hyana even realizes that and moving his drones away. Well, he needs those drones though. He needs all the drones he can get, and yeah, this is even using his Yamato gun. What's he using it on? Oh, he's not using his Yamato gun. Sorry, this looked like it for a second. Trying to snipe more infestors. Those have been a pain in the butt. These infestors have pretty much kept Hyana in the game. Had he not had those infestors, I don't think this game would have been as long as it would is. I'm not gonna say they're gonna win in the game because we don't know that yet. And at the moment, it's very even. It really is even. Like. I know it looks like Gossen is winning with the supply, but no one has this base. And there's a ton of drones ready to just suck up every single mineral patch there is there. And Hyana has a lot of gas. If he can just get a little bit of minerals, he can get some of those gas intensive units, some more infestors, some more ultras, perhaps a couple of broodlords. I think I think broodlords is a too big of an investment now since he doesn't have any spire anywhere it seems. So no. No broodlords. It seems at the moment. Oh, these watchers! Sh oh, you gotta protect those fragile drones that are my distant mining. Uh, you, why are you doing over here? You don't need these bases anyway. You should protect these uh, drones. But Gossen isn't going for them. He's trying to break this base, but almost no point on doing that. There's very little minerals left, and well, this is of course very effective because he's not losing anything. But there we go. We don't want to attack into any further into that. Where did that ultralisk go? Oh, there it is. Still have an ultralisk in the game. Um, yeah, this is turning out to be quite a game. And it's going down. It's going to be very close. Now, this is detrimental for Hyana. Um, losing his drones like that. Hopefully he can... Oh, wow, nice minefield. And yes, moving away. Letting the mines do the work. This might be one of the important moves for Gossen. But he only has vultures, they're very squishy and they will lose w to this army right here. And if they're not careful, but they will also turn Hyana down to 37 supply. How many? He's down to 4 drones, ladies and gentlemen, that's so little. Oh, perhaps not ladies, perhaps only gentlemen. I I would be surprised if any ladies watched the stream, but I would also be very pleased. So hopefully there are some ladies watching Starbow. It's a great game to play. But I think statistically there are mostly male. How? Where did he get four siege tanks from? He got four siege tanks, and that didn't help much with those OP murals. But yeah, you gotta target them. You gotta target them. There we go. Nice. I gotta stop telling people what to do. Sorry. But yeah, he still has an income here, of course. He can still make siege tanks. He's still producing actually eight watchers and two siege tanks. So. Yana being very cost effective with few units, Gossen has a lot more resources and is producing a lot more units, and there we have it boys, we have 108 supply versus 17, and it's actually still a little bit close, it doesn't seem Yana is going to be able to do this now, he has pretty much stopped his entire income at 161, well, because he's making one more Hydralisk, <laughs> and that's the only thing, oh, 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 that did more damage than it had to do, and yeah, no, this push right here, I don't see. With all the SAVs that you don't need. And the dropship. Bring the dropships. Come on, everything. Uh, and the mines. Well, you can't bring the mines. But yeah. Gossens bring every, taking everything from all his defensive postures and just going for it. Aim moving all across the map. Seeing that this is the moment to seize. And perhaps move an orbital over here. And just take Hyana down. He has 17 supplies. 
He has no. Dr he has three drums. Uh, very little production. I don't even know where the production tab is up at the moment. Look at yeah, this guy's been playing. Man, they've been equal in APM. They've been equal in tech. Uh, Gosson's been a little bit ahead in in economy. And that has oh yeah, if he mines now with all his SCVs, he's gonna mine out this whole thing really quickly. But he does not he uses them for um, defense because Yano still has investors, which means he still has an army. That is Gosson's army. Um, Let's see how well we can. Seven supply left. Where are, five. Where are the rest of his units? There's some. Are these drones? Yeah, these are drones. Yeah, he has an infester and three drones. That's it. Yeah, this is pretty much GG. You're not gonna get anything. We can make one more hydralisk. I think. Aren't they 75? Or are they 100 now? 75. We can make one more hydralisk or a couple of zerglings, and that's it. And now he. La no, he didn't even land. He built a new command center. Wow. He feels so rich. Um, yeah. Yeah, now I, uh, now I can finally say that this game is pretty much over. There we have it. Sacrificing his uh, last infester to the army. And wow, what a great game. Back and forth, back and forth. Uh, the only problem, like I said before, Hyanna never really stopped Gaussian economy. Uh, I can't speak anymore. I've been casting for too long. But Hyanna, uh, unable to uh, prevent Gaussian from taking one expansion after the other and is slowly, slowly winning. Almost like a game between Thorsane and some other good Zerg player spooning him out. Okay, hope you enjoyed this uh, game.